planes are up. They're flying in some kind of solo formation. You probably don't hear them, but I hear them. I hear everything. I hear every small nuance when I'm trying to record. Whatever. TCR Diaries for June 17th, 2017. I used to rely on forever. Rely on it so much that I didn't appreciate what was going on right in front of me. When I think this or that, people or things, or whatever are always going to be there, that life will always be like this, I take it all for granted. But really, for the rest of my life, I got nothing. I don't have anything forever. So right here, in this very moment, I do my best to remember that I only have this person for now. I want to be the best me I can be when I'm with them. Okay, I'm not so spiritual to savor every single moment with every single friend. It's more like these chapters, these eras, they're not permanent so I better be here. This era of Maggie being 11 that's going to go away. She'll be off to her teenage era soon and I'll see her less than I already do. It's also not that I think people are going to fall off a cliff or something. A more likely scenario is that we'll just have different shit going on. I'll be busy, you'll be busy, and then we won't see each other anymore. Days will go by or weeks and our schedules won't sync up and then a year later I'll think of you out of the blue. A heart string will tug with, I miss that guy, or she was really fun. People move on and go their separate ways because that's what happens. I have a pocket full of friends who I haven't seen or talked to in eons, and then I look them up on Facebook and they're getting on with their lives, same as me. So want to know when I realized the importance of now? It wasn't when or because I had some great epiphany that life's too short or fast or that I'm getting older or whatever. It was when I realized I'd hurt somebody. After the fact. Somebody that I truly cared about. Making someone cry is a good way to have the cosmos snap its fingers at my soul. Alas, remorse is like a French horn player in an orchestra, often too late. That was a quote by Jeremy Dink. There's a skeleton in my closet, literally. So there's that. Anyways, I make the effort, I make that effort to be a good friend in the here and now simply because I've taken too many people for granted and then they left. And then I was really sad because now they're gone. And generally when people go, they don't come back. And it's worse when they're gone because of something I did intentionally or not. Anyways, too, I don't have a triumphant climax for this, so I'll borrow somebody else's. This morning before the coffee was even ready, I was thinking about the movie Scrooge, as I do. Thinking about the ending with Murray's epiphany. What are you doing watching TV on Christmas Eve? It's never too late, peeps. Never too late to say, I'm here. What are we doing? Forever is great, but sitting next to someone, on the couch, right now, you can't beat it. What are you doing watching television on Christmas Eve? I like watching The Addams Family because Morticia and Gomez, they have a certain kind of love for each other. It's a happy, joyous, and free kind of love.
fucking planes. I hear them every morning.